Well, welcome back to Anatomy. Uh, you... mm -hmm. I was told you could erase the save with the delete key and start over. Uh, that doesn't seem to be... Maybe I have to hold it for a while. Um, I thought I'd replay this. I, apparently it has multiple endings, and everyone seems to like it more than me, which is very rare for an alt game. Usually I love, you know, whatever weird stuff, and everyone's like, This isn't a video game! Um, the body horror stuff, I don't, it doesn't, didn't really resonate with me. I, it's, it's not the fantastic nature, but it's just, I, I wasn't really buying it. I, I don't think this is gonna work. I, I, I'll be right back. Okay. It, it, we're, we're, we're back. Um, you know what's a really, really bad way to make a video game? Um, first, you, you, you make the pacing really slow, and then this is the same house. I was told stuff would be different. Uh, stuff doesn't look too different. Um, but y y first thing you do, um, you include all of the relevant text in a README file. Which I didn't even know existed. I I launched this through the itch.io app. Uh, I had absolutely no idea there was an, um, a readme file. Um, even when I read it, um, you know the hints were stuff I never would have guessed. Um, and like, and then at the very end of the game, you gotta load up the game at a kill screen, press the delete key, then close the game again and open it up again. See what's really going on. None of none of that is good. None of that is spoop. None of that is you know. None of that adds to my experience. It's just unpleasant for not like not in a good horror unpleasant way. It's just why. Anyway, good old loud. The psychology of the modern civilized human being. <sighs> It is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Yeah, I don't buy the house thing. Yeah, let me just let the... Oh, I can't get away from the sound. Alright. I'm gonna hide from the stupid thing. So, I, I can believe some fantastical crap. Like, weird body horror stuff. Like, body horror is always ridiculous and impossible and stuff, right? But, um... I can believe it if you give me some, like, Silent Hill stuff going on. Like, you gotta make me believe that this house can hear stuff. That it's living. That it's breathing. You don't make me do a half-hour fetch quest of stupid tapes telling me all of this totally unbelievable garbage. Like, a lot of people were spooked by this, uh, apparently. Uh, and people were like, oh no, I'm afraid to go to sleep in my house because it's going to eat me and stuff. And this, this is exactly the same. I was told this would be different. This is exactly identical to uh, the first time I played this. It's a tape in the downstairs bathroom. Okay, maybe 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 the order of the tapes is randomized, but I, 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 I'm not being impressed. I was hoping. To, oh oh oh! There's a rib cage. Oh, that's has that always been there? I don't know if that was random. If that was like, if that just got added in there at random to spook me, like this this is all right. I don't recall seeing spooky pictures before. Can I... I thought I could turn you on. You're quite good at turning me on. It's a tape in the garage. Yeah, these... Uh, maybe this is sort of familiar. Anyway. I was expecting the spoop. I, well, I don't know what I was expecting. But I, I just don't find what I had previously experienced to be particularly effective. And For example, let us examine the living room. Often the dominant space for the house is ground level, as well as typically the space about to sneeze. in a well-populated home. The living room is very much the heart of the house. 
while a human heart circulates blood to oxygenate the body. See, maybe l make me hear some heartbeats while they're talking about the living room being the heart. You know, just a soft beating coming from the living room. You gotta make me believe it. I did not believe it until the very end when, you know, there were tendrils going through the house. The house tendrils. That was good stuff. But when I'm just wandering around a house for 20 minutes and somebody's reading me complete dumb stuff that no one would ever believe, uh, that's, that's silly. It, it just seems silly and, and then it just goes from 0 to 11. And I enjoyed the brief period while it was at 11, but, uh... It is easy to think of the kitchen and dining The overall pacing the just... The house, I don't think it worked. Not on me. It definitely didn't work on me. It worked on some people, apparently. And a lot of these comparisons don't really make any sense. I mean, houses don't poop, so the, the whole house, you know, bathroom being the waste thing like if anything like maybe the basement is like the house poop organ i gotta just walk around as this happens i'm so glad this has a run button though i'm i'm honestly enjoying did, did this have a run button before i'm enjoying being sonic more than i am enjoying the game i i I, I was told this would... I... The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. <laughs> because this fashion is stupid. Um, yeah, I was expecting things to be different. This is pretty much identical. Maybe... Are these pictures different? I... Honestly, any differences I'm seeing is just because it's been like over a month since I last played the game. Um... I don't know. In the bedroom like, is where people invariably spend the majority of their time. Don't like, I was told this would mess with your head and stuff. I don't I don't see what people are seeing. What is this game just a prank, bro? Is this, is everyone saying there's all kinds of amazing spooky shit in this game and it's all a sham and it's just to personally scare with me? Is, is that what's happening here? Oh, this See, this is pretty nice, but um, you know, this is spoop. This is a spoopy picture, um, but it's just kind of a random spoop. Like, say if I heard that thing about the living room being a heart, and haha, that's dumb, and then I walk in the living room, and there's a picture of a goddamn heart on the wall that wasn't there before. Uh, consider that, or, you know, the thing that I said before, you know, the heartbeat. But uh, this weird crap is just here already. And it doesn't really seem to directly tie to the spoop room, you know. And yet just... this analogy is an incomplete one, for obviously the mind is an exceedingly complex thing. If the bedroom represents the thinking, dreaming part of the brain, then it is... I don't, I don't know if the pictures are randomly added, or... Like, I don't remember looking at this one, but I may have just not... I may have just been zooming around. What's this? Is this? Those are some tall ass pyramids. I don't. Th I'm not sure those were did. I don't know. That's not how they usually build those. Why can't I turn on the TV? The TV was almost spooked. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at those pixels. I had one of these TVs with. They had those huge vents. If you've never had a CRT, they're glorious. They, they are hot as hell. And um. Tape in the basement. Let's go get us some basement tape. Mm -mm -mm. Where the hell is the... Oh, oh, right. We're making better time than last time. I'm, I'm still not spooked. I, um... Oh. Was that... Was the light always there? I'm playing on suggested quality settings now, by the way. Uh, I remember getting stuck on that tape and not seeing it. I'm not sure if the light was there when I played last. I don't know. But just everyone seemed to love this game, and I'm like, well, my current state is basically my impression last time. Blah blah blah, basement, do do do, body horror doesn't really make sense. Show, show, give, give, just give, get to the spooky bit. 
you know, on even on a replay, we are ten minutes in now with no spoop, and I'm really still not buying the body horror. I'm still not seeing tape in the master bedroom. I'm still not seeing this play multiple times. There's multiple endings apparently, which uh, I better get a different ending this time, or I'll be a little. I'll be a little fussy. I mean, I'm already a little fussy, as you might have guessed. This room being very red is... That's alright. I got stuck on some geometry. I love that I have no... Not only do I not have any reflection, nothing has any reflection. Oh, hey! Hello, friend. It is here. Oh, right! That we are almost vulnerable. Oh, this was this was an alright spook, but we already saw this. The teeth, 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 yum, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. And the door is gone. Wait, is the door gone? Yes, the door is gone. So this was an okay spook. Teeth, teeth, teeth. You know what would be awesome is if every time you looked away. A different picture loaded in. Like, so this was this pair of teeth, and then you looked back, and it was a slightly different pair of teeth. Like, just a little bit different every time. Just for you to be like, hey, wait, is that different? Is that... what? Teeth, teeth, teeth. Yes, yes, yes. Bloop. I forgot this is a naughty game, and it closes itself. So now I have to re-render that video that I did. Yep, spoop. And now I'm shaky. I'm spooped. Oh, now we can turn the TV on. See, that 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 is the horror. The horror is that initially you cannot turn on the TV. And now we can. So now we got it. We got we got another tape. Please don't tell me that was not considered an ending and that this is the same. I, I'm pretty sure that was basically lied to. I think they considered just the game closing to be an ending, and you have to open it up again, and this happens. Like, this is all... Yeah, I remember that exactly. So this is all deterministic. Um... This is the best part of the entire game. Yeah. So... Yeah. The game's the exact same. Yeah. Even the spoop posters are the exact same. Like, here's the rib cage. The spoop is the same. And this window. This inappropriate window. <sighs> well, I'll play until we get to the ending again. But... I where, where, where is the spoop? Why is everybody spooped? I, I'm sorry. I... I do not feel spooped at all. Tape downstairs. Bathroom. Hand, yeah, maybe these are being added. I'm, I don't think I saw that before. That's just... That's just sideways, that's that's fine. Oh, I can't open the poop. The poop receptacle. Loud! Shut up! So yeah, we, 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 we've got 90% of the spook. Well, except for the la the final spook is the good one. But yeah, uh, um, I was told to replay and that it would be... Le Masterpiece. And is this door still open to another door? It sure does. There is... Ah! Doors are unlocked! Are these teeth... No, this is just Lady with Invisible Man. This is, um... <laughs> yeah, this was a good one. The Gremlin thing. Um... There is... Ah! Doors are unlocked. Is there spoop? Uh, Z fighting! Z fighting is pretty spoopy. Um, so yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is completely identical to my last playthrough. Um, 
The TV um, appearing through the floor is one of the better spoops, and I don't think it's intended. I do like the the, the veins. The vein once the veins pop up, the game starts being acceptably spoop. But um, but uh, I've definitely seen better spoop. This is not particularly spoopy. Burp -a -derp -a -derp. I can't break them anymore. They're already broken. Sigh. I don't even. I can't even sigh anymore. I just say the word sigh. That. Is that always here? There's a tape in the living room. <laughs> it's. All right. This one's probably intentional, but it's still funny. There's nothing written on the tape. It's a good old Phillips tape, though. Good old Phillips. Hey, door, door, please. Can I, go, can I go to the thing now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glitched version of the same thing we heard before. Um, this, this ending better blow me away, or I'm just like, you guys are all total wusses, and I don't know why. I, I, I. The window the house, so much the same happens with the eyes. Well, everyone has around the bend. See, so much of this is so dumb, I just... I'm, you're not giving me a reason to believe the body horror, like, house is a living thing. You give me... The veins are a good start. But... The, that's really all there is. The, the, the room... The teeth thing. That was alright. Um, I guess this is a lot easier on... This is the standard graphics mode, and the the lighting stuff is working a lot better. Like, the tapes are highlighted. But, um... Uh, maybe we'll get the good ending, since we've been so fast, you know. We got the speedrun ending. Samus is gonna take her clothes off now. The room that most alludes to comparison in this fashion. And a scratch, and a for a bit of you know, what is the breakfast nook? What is the mudroom? What is the, um, the solarium, you know? What what body parts are those? Oh. Same. I look out through the bedroom window and I see a truck approaching. A young man steps out, approaches, and enters through the front that door. Effect. His body is covered in swollen ticks the size of horrors. He's walking to face when you need to remove head. cysts, but you have no hands. Relatable. Relatable content. That is what this game is. Is, you know, not having hands, one of the bigger problems of being a millennial. Goes to the basement and stands at the top of the stairs. I'm angry at him, so I slam the door and he falls down. I can feel his bones snapping. <laughs> the texts are bursting, losing all black blood everywhere. Yeah, this one was okay. I can feel him being ground up. So there's some okay spoop, like, the bathroom, or the bedroom bit, this bit. See, this kind of makes it, this kind of sells it well enough. This one tape. But the other stuff, it just, nah. It, the, the stairs of your spine, I mean, g give me a reason. Give me a reason to believe that. You can't tell me something ridiculous. You gotta give me a- I can believe, in universe, any ridiculous crap you wanna tell me, but you gotta give me some internal consistency here. Like, Silent Hill would make me believe this shit. Silent Hill would be like... Oh, the, the basement's open now. Look, Silent Hill would make me believe- Oh. 
That was an okay screamer right there. All right. Let's get rid of all this crap. <sighs> it made me flinch. I'll give you that game. And I, I didn't get the the full effect last time of that because the game just crashed because of how I record it. And it crashes when it, I, this is the hellscape. <laughs> that's Z fighting. I, I can't tell if that's intentional or not. It's kind of neat though. Um, <laughs> it's just, the wall is just that now. Uh, yeah, the, the veins, the veins are good. I like the veins. The the CRT effect like this once once this happens it's all right we're we're in all right territory here little little wall thing here but the um I feel the the Z fighting and you know weird um collision you know stuff would make more sense if that was more tied to the horror it's just kind of like we're house and body horror yet. This is kind of digital glitch aesthetic, but we don't have any... We're not really tied... That's not really tied to our story. So it just kind of happens. It's just kind of there. It's not... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm five years old. <laughs> um, oh, more to break. Thank you. Um, it, it just... Why not talk about... Um, you know, cassette players, like, talk about how cassettes have memory, and when you play them too much, their memories fade, and, um, somebody else can, you know, rewind you and make you f relive things that you don't like, you know, tie it to that. Then I would buy it a bit more, because, like, and then the glitchy stuff is tied more directly to what your body horror ring, and, oh, Sorry about that. Flashing stuff. So now I go into the basement and I get some spoop. Get some delicious spoop. Put in my face hole? No? Oh. That's right, I ended up in there. Uh, yeah, we gotta find one more. <laughs> the door. Um, I gotta find another thing, I guess. Wait, can I go in here now? Oh, I sure can't. The doors, the door fell a little, a little bit. Oh right, you'll never come back. That see, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'll admit that. I'll admit that. That's a good spoop. I can't turn it off. That's another. That's all right. That's that's, that's pretty good. I don't know. Th there's some good material in here. I'm being a little harsh on it, but ah, oh, there we go. It's just so disjointed and uh, spoop, spoop, spoop. I don't know. I feel like if this focused more on like TVs and um, cassette tapes, like having memories and being, you know, you know, put the body horror focus on those maybe then maybe maybe I would have bought it a bit better yeah, and I love my glitchy stuff so I think I would have liked that a lot more like we're already we have some glitches but uh, uh, it just just doesn't do it for me guess we're going back upstairs I guess the door thing probably is intentional so you got all these other intentional glitches, but it's like, I don't know. Crap, I forget where this last thing is. That's just the screaming one, right? Oh no, it's warbly screaming. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, hello. <laughs> when did you get here? Hi, friend! Okay, so that's some alright spoop. That's that's some better spoop than before. Did I see that one before? 
All right, it's getting some atmosphere now. It's getting all right. I forget if we saw that before. I don't remember that floating meat organ. The meat organ, like, now you're starting to sell me on it. But, but why the buildup? Like, even after having played it before, I had to spend 20 minutes to get to this. And the first 10 minutes, like, did not feel necessary at all. Like, I don't mind a slow buildup. If it feels necessary. Um, this buildup did not feel necessary at all. Like, I think I said in the first video, but, um... Like, have the part where it gets glitchy and stuff... Um, have that happen the first time around, because, you know, and let, you know, just let me still hear it. But have it slightly degrade a little bit more each time, instead of having me play the entire set of tapes twice over and they're almost entirely unlistenable the second time. And still, it, it still feels like the horror is more, you know, um, it feels like the horror is more in the cassette tapes and like the digital world shit. Um, hurts. You know, the TV and cassette tape feel like more major players than the house. It's not a clue for the TV, because we already have the TV. House, no. <laughs> Good old Z fighting. Still can't open that. Are we gonna get some spoop? Where's the spoop? See, it's like... I, I don't think we're really strengthened by me having to hunt for the spoop. Because I'm like, looking for it, and I'm like... Here we go. I get. I, I guess this has been all right this playthrough. I I just kind of regret listening so intently to the initial um things. And like thinking that was gonna be the spook, because it it just kinda wasn't. Alright, what now? No. The the current atmosphere is alright, but it should like half the game, the earlier half of the game should have gotten to this faster. We've already been in here and there's nothing. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Where's the thing? So this, the part where I have to hunt for the spoop just kind of destroys the tension the previous parts have built up. Because, like, I had, I had some tingles down my spine there for a little bit. But when you turn around, you see that meat organ? That was pretty good. But now I'm just like, okay, where's the next thing? I'm not seeing it. It gives me plenty of time to cool off, and ah, here it's like the opposite of building antici anticipation, or like you know that that looming dread. You know, it, I don't. Know, it, it feels like it's similar in concept. You know, giving you some time between scares, but like with Silent Hill, it, it never lets you drop that feeling. You're never too confused or just like, eh, you know, it, you can feel what's coming up. Mouth gonna bite down. Doors open. We are spooked. Let's go to the thing. Is this oh is this meat? No, that's just that's just cheap wood. That's just particle board, I think. Maybe no that's Oh, it's just insulation! I keep wanting there to be meat walls and there's no meat walls. I guess the insulation Why do you have insulation in the basement? That's just dirt beyond there. It's just dirt. You put you put insulation You know, in your normal walls. Oh, spoop! There is an important distinction that must be drawn between the 
words deception and vivisection, a distinction that would appear to be lost on you. Your purpose was to listen, and yet at every turn you have pride, you have prodded, and you have interfered. Yep, that's me. Have you not been paying attention? Did it not occur to you that as an organism existing within a greater organism, your intrusion would be felt? <laughs> and still you harass. And now, like the wayward spider who witlessly settles upon a sleeper's tongue, you will be swallowed. Because the truth is this. When a house is both hungry and a Aw, oh, look at the teeth! Look at the teeth! I didn't see this before, did I? Look at those teeth! It's gonna eat me! It's gonna eat me! Okay, that was better. What did I get last time? You never came back. Yes, I did. This is the second time I went. <gasps> it's different. It's totally different. Oh hell yeah. Okay. This was better. I can't seem to move. Oh. I can't seem to look, rather. I, I can only walk forward. I can't walk backwards. Okay, so... It's redeemed itself, for the most part. It, it doesn't really sell the idea that you're playing, you know, a totally different experience, though. Like, that first 10, 20 minutes was still, frankly, pretty lame. Oh, come on. Shoutouts to Borderless Gaming, which lets me play windowed, you know, force full screen windowed mode. Ah, oh, this again? It's just this again. All right, we'll, 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 we'll listen to the tape. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure I have it in me to play another one. L if there's more good... I don't even know how I triggered this different ending. Was it because I was, you know, fast? I don't know. Let me know if there's other good endings. It eats people. It becomes worn and aged. Oh, we already listened to this. When its paint peeled, and its foundations begin to sink. It goes for too long and lived in. What does it think of? What does it dream? Will I dream, Dave? It about those creatures who built it. Into existence only to abandon it, but its usefulness no longer satisfies them. It may grow lonesome. It may stare for long hours into the darkness of its own empty halls and see shadows. But then you eat people and then you come to experience, you know, yeah. say hi. Yeah. Rude. Someone again, I'm not alone. This is why you're alone. Because you eat people, you know? You know? You know? It may find itself inventing ghosts to walk its floor. Yeah, we already heard all this. Making friends with its shadow puppets. Laughing and whispering to itself at the end of some quiet cul de sac. Better than the last run through. Um. What I like is hints that, like, if there's another good ending that I want to see, let me know, and, like, let me know generally what I should do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to the end. Hungry. Maybe that's why it is. Yeah, so that was better than the last run through, but, uh... For one thing, why... Why doesn't it just 
when you load up the game after you get this, you just stare at the tape player for eternity. And... Um... Why not just start the game over when I, you know, leave here? Or why not close the game at this point? And then let me start open on a new game. Like... The rebate file is entirely unnecessary, except the game is designed to force you to read it for no real reason other than to kind of get in your way and be annoying. Like, this this isn't spoop. Like, the spoop is over. We're just staring at a tape player. And, um, if you close the game now, I'll, I'll show you. Close the game. Open the game. Made with Unity Personal Edition. And it's just the tape player. And what you gotta do is you press delete, close it again. It it doesn't immediately restart. You gotta launch it yet again. And functionally speaking, um there's no difference here between just the game closing after that message, then I launch it again, then I get straight to this. I had to launch, well, I could have pressed delete, but I mean, um, that adds the step of me having to read the readme file. Um, in fact, you have to, um, let me, let me just show you, uh, show local files. So you have to open, um, I think, does this even give you actual hints? It actually does not. See, yeah, no actual hints in that file. So you have to think to read the spoiler document. And the game must be run several times to the complete experience, sure. Has it played its tape? I mean, this seems useless because, I mean, it plays its tape in within a few seconds, I think. If the jury reached the end, nothing happens after 30 seconds. And it expects you to just wait 30 plus seconds, which is kind of silly. Um, then you can press the delete key to erase the game's memory and start over. N none of these hints really feel necessary beyond, have you only run the game once? The game must be played, like, throw this in the readme file, or just, you know. That's the only info that really feels like it actually needs to be explained. Um, I don't want to do another run. Um, but yeah, just just tell me if you um, if there's like other endings that I missed that are good and tell me how to get them because I, I don't want to do that again. The first 20 minutes, even when you've already played it, just bleh. But uh, it has some good ideas. It has some fun. It has some spoop. But uh, it's just so inconsistent. I, I mean, it's an experimental game. It's all right. But um, it's just got so much. It, it makes me work so hard for the spoop. And then it's over in like five minutes. It, it just, there's so much getting in the way that just does, is not necessary. It, it really frustrates me. I want to like it more than I do. And like, there's... Like, say, I've played the game at this point for about 80 minutes total. That's right, Parker. Um, I've enjoyed a solid maybe 15, 20 minutes out of that. A lot. And then there's another 20 minutes that's excusable buildup. And then there's another 40 minutes that's just waiting to be allowed to see the next spooky scene. Uh, that just doesn't feel good. Right. What what are your thoughts, Parker? Hmm? Ugh, why do you never talk when I need you to? Hmm? What do you have to say to that? Talk. I swear my cat is on the desk now. But he just... Once he's on the desk, he doesn't want to talk. I don't know. Whatever. That was Anatomy, round two. I, I'm not sure if there's more endings, but d tell me if there are, because I, I don't want to waste another 20 minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs>